Hi folks, Colin. We're up in uh, 2J. We're at the Cat, Chip and Snip Day that was organised by the 2J Shire. Um, and I'd like to introduce you to people just quickly. We'll talk all about that. Uh, so we've got Roz from 2J Shire, MJ from Heart, Homeless and Abused Animal Rescue Team. They do a great job. Safe, favourite uh, little rescue group. So we've got Gloria over there from Safe, Saving Animals from Youth and Asia, Avon Valley. Fantastic. In the background, Belinda and Claire. Hi, guys. Now, we've been spending the day, people have been rocking up with their cats, getting them microchipped and uh, booking in for sterilisation. Uh, the Shire have put this on. There's, we've got cat cage people over there. We've got cat runs with uh, net meshes. We also use our pet barrier, a radio signal for cats. So who, who organised all this, right? Uh, this was organised by the 2J Rangers. Yep. Um, we really wanted to make people aware of the new laws that are coming in, 1st of November which will make everyone desex, register and microchip their cats. So today we done desexing and microchipping for $10 each. Can you believe that? The Shire sponsored $10. It was amazing to get your cat microchipped and the state government chipped in $10 cost and they're going to sponsor the sterilisation. So just amazing cost. You don't get that sort of value. Awesome value, agree? Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, MJ, tell us about how many cats will be produced if uh, yeah. if uh, people don't get their cats sterilised. Do you have a feral cat? What happens? Yeah. So every, say, at 12 months, you've got 12 kittens um, per, say, one female cat. And after seven years, you've got up to 370,000 kittens. So it's very important to sterilise your cats. I, I find those numbers a bit hard to believe, but is that happening? It is happening. We get calls every day. Every day for abandoned cats, people with cats that they haven't sterilised. You know, it's not, it's, it's often that we have calls for a, one house with 10 cats. How many cats have you got? in foster care right now waiting for a home? Currently we have over 170. We have over 40 on our waiting list just looking for homes. Um, it, it is madness. You really do need to sterilise your cats. And you guys, both Safe Avon Valley and Hard yeah. and other rescue groups, work closely with the Shire Rangers. And there's a $20 fine if your phone rings while we're videoing. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, work closely with the Rangers. But, but hey, Roz, tell us, what happens if you pick up a dog or a cat, there's no microchip, there's no collar, no phone number, what other likelihoods, if you guys weren't around, what would happen? Um, if the rescue groups weren't around, um, there would be no option of having to, to euthanise the animals. So it's very important to identify your cats, uh, just in case your collar falls off, the microchipping are always there. Um, for. Gloria from Safe Avon Valley, let's talk about um, adopting and fostering. What what can people do to help? All you really need is a safe, secure yard if you're looking at adopting or fostering a dog. Um, but if you're looking at fostering or helping out with cats, you just need a safe, secure area in your home where you can keep them out of harm's way. Always looking for foster carers for cats. If we don't have foster carers for cats and kittens, then we can't rescue them. So it's really important. If you are able to help, please do help. It's very rewarding and it truly is life-saving. You are saving a life by fostering a cat or a dog. So you can go to local Shire Pound. You could go contact them to find out who the uh, foster uh, rescue groups are and you could pick up a dog that's quite happy to sit next to a cat or a cat that's quite happy to be a dog and if you've got kids they've got something there and you, you'll save a life folks but what's the key sterilize your pets there's no need to breed your pets folks if there's no more dogs and no more cats and no more kittens available in foster care maybe think about breeding but while they're still there who needs to breed cats and dogs there's heaps out there agree yeah okay guys so that's it from us, guys. Thanks very much for your time. Great effort, guys. And I think there's some organisers in the background who are a little bit camera shy, unlike some people <laughs> around here. Yeah, we like them. <laughs> and thank right. you, everyone, for coming. And big thanks to the 2J Cat Appeal, who for the last couple of years have desexed hundreds of cats, fundraised, um, and desexed hundreds of cats in the Shire 2J. So implementing the Cat Act is going to be a lot easier. Just, and yeah, thank you, everyone, easier. for coming up today to, for the rescue groups. And, and containment systems personally. and the dog line. And just for the record, no over 900 cats have been rescued 
de-sexed and rehomed in this shire yes, alone. 900. Thanks to the Caterpillar since they started in November 04. That's, that's a massive amount. That's of saving lives. That's incredible. That's great. Yeah. New Cat Act, folks. Better look it up because it means you need to lock, get your cats on your property so they don't leave your property. If they do, you could be in big drama because are we talking registration now? Yep, so the fines are $200 if your cat's not microchipped, not sterilised and not registered. Alright, thanks team. Thanks guys. We'll see you later. Thanks to the Shire 2J, Avon Valley, Safe, Avon Valley and Hart. <laughs> and thank you to our foster carers because yeah, without yeah. them we can't yeah. save Hats lives. off to all foster carers around the country guys. Love your work. Thank you. Alright, see you folks.